This is a complete affiliate marketing course for both beginners and even advanced affiliates. I will share a very unique affiliate marketing formula and a system that I used to make hundreds of dollars a day. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box right below the like button. And in this step-by-step -step tutorial, you can learn how to pick the right niche, three different ways to get free traffic, and how to make your first $1,000 with affiliate marketing as fast as possible. My name is Dave Nick and let's begin. Okay, now here's a full game plan and a business strategy that we will be using and how we are gonna be building a business around AI. So first things first, you will select an offer that you wanna drive traffic to you. That can be your own product, whether that's gonna be your own course, whether that's gonna be your service, whether that's gonna be some physical product, or you can even choose from some affiliate offers. So I'm gonna show you different networks where you can find offers to promote as an affiliate. Once again, whether that's a digital or a physical product, it doesn't matter. The, the goal is to drive traffic to one particular offer where you're gonna make money from that offer. Once again, whether you're promoting something as an affiliate and earning a commission, it doesn't matter. The goal is to drive traffic to that offer. Now, once we have the offer that you want to promote, let's say that's some digital product that pays you $500 affiliate commission, like 50% affiliate commission for a thousand dollars product. Now, once we have that offer, we're going to create a free value to drive people to that offer, to drive people, targeted people to that offer, to increase chances of them buying that offer or signing up for that service so that we can increase conversion rate and that free value can be either in terms of a course which I'm going to show you how to build completely with AI or that can also be an article or blog post which you can also generate completely with AI but we will mostly be focusing on creating a free valuable course completely with AI so that in that course you can promote that offer now once we have that product that we are building and we are providing free value I'm going to show you how to automate the entire process and workflow with AI when some of the latest AI tools. And then I'm gonna show you how to capture emails so that you can drive consistent traffic and have a business that's sustainable and reliable. And then also we're gonna build an entire landing page with AI where you're gonna be collecting those emails. So for email captures, and then I'm gonna show you how you're gonna be able to drive a consistent traffic for completely free by using AI and some of the AI workflows that I've established and some of the AI systems that I wanna share with you. So that's basically the game plan and that's the, the business strategy that we will be using. Let's first dive in, select the niche, and then we're gonna try to find the offer for you to promote if you don't have it already. The most important decision that you need to make is the niche that you will dive into because you can create the best product, the best service, but if the niche is too small or it doesn't even have any potential, then you are not gonna make as much money as you normally would if you chose the right niche from the start. So choosing the right niche from the start is essential for your business. This can either break it or make it work. So the process of choosing the right niche is research the market and seeing what actually works and seeing what worked for other people and what can potentially work for you as well. I'm going to recommend some niches that worked for me and that I saw other people work for them, but you can also do the research, research yourself and see what would be the best option. Now, a lot of people will just tell you that you should go with something that you're like passionate about. Like if you love fishing, you should definitely go ahead and, you know, start a fishing related business and promote those products. And even though there's nothing wrong with fishing, like, it's a great sport, there might not be as many people interested in that. Even if you love it, it may not be the best business decision. So what I personally like to do is I like to actually look at the data and see what's working and see what's producing results and then I'd rather go with that than with something I'm passionate about. There's a, there's time and, and place for doing things that you're passionate about. If you're gonna be running a business, you should be looking at the data and seeing what's actually the most profitable right now. Now, there's obviously a lot of different types of niches. You can go with something that's extremely broad. Like for example, if you look at a channel like Mr. Beast, let's compare those. Mr. Beast YouTube channel is a broad niche. He's appealing to a wide variety of people. He's appealing to literally everyone. Everyone can watch his videos. While if you go, for example, to the Dave Nick channel, it only appeals to entrepreneurs and people that want to build a business, that want to make money online. It doesn't appeal to literally everyone around the world. That's why the viewership is smaller, but the audience is way targeted and it's way more valuable. 10,000 viewers on the Dave Nick 
big channel are potentially a thousand times more valuable than a million viewers on Mr. Beast because you can't really target a group of people with that type of niche. You can't really sell. Like for example, if you wanted to sell a chocolate and you walked in a room where there is a million people but you have no idea if they like chocolate, you have no idea if most of them are vegan, if most of them don't even like anything sweet, they don't like sugars, it's gonna be really hard to sell that chocolate. But if you have a chocolate to sell and then you walk in a room with a hundred people, so a lot less, but all the hundred people will love chocolate. They, they're really passionate about chocolate, they, they love it. Now, it's gonna be a lot easier to sell and make money from that smaller group of people. So that's the difference bef between the broad niche and a really targeted niche. So some of the best niches that you can get involved into are either related to finance, so they're mostly like solving some really big problems that are innately in literally everyone, like finance. That can be anything from helping someone establish their business to helping them grow and scale their business or help them with some part of their business or helping them overall with their finances, helping them either save money or make money. If if anything is related to finance, there's obviously a massive group of people, literally everyone is in some way related to money, so if you can get in a business that either helps people save money or make money or make more money or make money faster, then you're on a good track. The same goes with, for example, social skills. This is something that a lot of people love to get better with, whether that's like being more confident in front of a lot of people, speaking in front of an audience, or just overall being a better person and being better with interacting with others, which is something that's really, really important to a lot of people, is great. Then we also have fitness and health. Obviously, a lot of people would love to get more fit. A lot of people love to lose weight. A lot of people care about their health. And it also does solve the pain. So for example, if someone is, uh, let's say, more obese and they really, really want to lose weight, they would mostly do anything. And because they're in pain, they want to lose weight as fast as possible. They will buy all sorts of different pills and they will buy all sorts of different products and programs to try and get rid of that fat as soon as possible because they, they can't stand it anymore. And then lastly, we also have the love and relationships, like products, maybe even courses for someone that wants to get their ex back, like they feel the, the, the pain inside of them and they will literally do anything to solve their problem. And if you can solve that problem for them, they're willing to spend money on that and they're willing to do it again and again. And there's obviously a lot of people that will love to solve those types of problems. So those are some niche examples, of course. You can also do the research yourself, go through the process of researching the niche yourself and then select what you want to go with, I will personally go for the sake of this example with the finance niche. Now, in case you don't already have your own product or a service that you want to drive traffic to and that you want to sell, the second best option that you can go with is to promote other offers as an affiliate. That basically means that instead of you creating the product or a service and then creating the website for that product or service, like a sales page and a landing page, you can just drive traffic to someone else's product or a service and then earn an affiliate commission whenever someone buys that product or a service through your or a referral link. Now, there are obviously some downsides and upsides to this. The downsides are that you are earning a commission. That basically means that you can earn like 5, 10% or 50% depending on what offer you choose. While with, when you actually own the product, if I, for example, create a digital product and I sell it for $1,000, almost 100% of that goes to me. While if I promoted some product as an affiliate, I would most likely get less. I would most likely get 50%, 40%, in some cases, even just 5%. So obviously, the earnings are a bit lower. And also another downside is that you are not really building your own customer base and not, you're not driving traffic to your business, but you're driving traffic to someone else's business. If you sell a digital product, if you create a digital product, you know that those customers are yours and you can continue to sell and market different products and offers to those customers while when you're promoting something as an affiliate, you're just sending traffic to someone else's business. But the upsides are also that you don't actually have to build a product or service yourself, which obviously takes a lot of time and it costs a lot of money in some cases, then you would have to build a website. You don't actually have to do like the customer support. You don't have to deal with any of that stuff and you can start to make money from day one. You don't have to wait to build a product or whatsoever. You can just grab your referral link, start driving traffic and actually be profitable on day number one. So right now I'm gonna share with you some of the platforms that you can use to find the right affiliate offers and which platforms I've been personally using to make money with affiliate marketing. But first of all, I do want you to understand that you can choose 
choose whether you want to promote physical or digital products, but I do want to let you know that if you promote physical products, as we talked about previously, the commission rates are most likely way lower, so you would make like 5%, 10% commission, and there's also a limit to how much you can sell because there's inventory for those physical products, while when it comes to digital products, the commission rates are in most of the cases are a lot higher because the profit margins are also a lot higher, so you can maybe get 50, 60, or 70% commission rate, plus on top of all of that, there is no limit to how much you can sell. And also in some cases, you can earn a reoccurring monthly commissions. If you're promoting some software, in some cases, they will give you reoccurring commissions. Let's say you're making 50% per month when someone signs up through your link. As long as that person continues using the software, you will keep on making $50 a month from that person. If you refer 100 people, you have a consistent $5,000 a month business as long as those 100 people keep on using that software, which is really good and is a lot harder to do with physical products. So that's why we're going to be using three different platforms that I want to share with you today. The very first one is called the Warrior Plus. This is the one that I personally use to promote different make money line offers and internet marketing offers and everything that's related to affiliate marketing. So you can sign up to Warrior Plus and then you can promote those offers. I personally made over almost half a million dollars with this platform in affiliate commissions. As you can see, the next platform that you can use is called Partner Sack, and this one is more for software. If you want to promote software companies that in most of the cases give reoccurring commissions when someone signs up through your link. And also these are all digital products, of course. You can find all the categories on the left side. So for example, you can promote something that's related to marketing and then you can find all of these products that give you like, for example, 20% commission and paid subscriptions for up to one year. So this is like 12 months of commissions every single month. But some of them will give you lifetime commissions like this one, 30% reoccurring commission for life. So if this software was, let's say $100 a month, that means you would be making $30 a month for a lifetime from one single person to sign up through your link. And to promote offers from this platform, you just click on it and then you can just request to promote it. Click on apply to program and then you can enter to promote that offer. And the next platform that you can use, it's called ClickBank. This is another platform where you can find a lot of affiliate offers. You can just go to ClickBank where you can also find like a lot of physical and digital products and you can find them in all sorts of different niches. So it's not like with Warrior Plus where you can only find offers related to internet marketing, online business and making money online. But with ClickBank, you do have a lot of different categories, including health and fitness, and you have all sorts of different categories, and you even have them in different languages. So if you want to promote something that's only for the Spanish-speaking audience or the French-speaking audience, you do also have that option as well with ClickBank. So there is a lot of options when it comes to ClickBank.com, but this one is not a worldwide available, so you will have to check if it works in your area or not. So you can just click on Start here, and you can sign up for free to ClickBank. Now, in the next lecture, we're going to go over how to actually choose the right offers from these platforms to maximize your chances of making as much money as possible. Now, after signing up to some of these affiliate marketplaces, there are some metrics that you should look at when deciding which offer you should actually promote. Because once again, if we do everything correctly and we do the marketing properly and you spend like all the time in the world on marketing, but the offer that you're promoting is not actually good from the start, then you are minimizing your results and you're minimizing the revenue that you're going to get from promoting that offer. So that's why you want to do everything the right way from the start. So if you selected, for example, the internet marketing niche and the online business niche and you want to promote something from Warrior Plus Marketplace and the same goes with all the other marketplaces that we talked about, you will go to the affiliate offers section and there you can find a lot of different metrics that will help you decide whether that offer is good or not. Like for example, it right away shows you the release date, which is the least important thing, the sales, so how many copies of that product or service have been sold so far, the conversion rate, which is in my case, in, in my opinion, one of the most important metrics, it shows you exactly the percentage of people that will actually actually purchase the product after landing on the sales page, after you send them to that affiliate link. The visitor value, the average sale, and the refund rate, and of course, the overall pulse score. So for example, this first product over here that is not sponsored has gotten over 7.5 thousand sales. It was released about a month ago, and the conversion rate is 16%, which is really, really high. If the conversion rate is over 7% on Warrior Plus, that means that's really high. That means that out of 100 people that land on the 
the sales page, about 16 of them on average will actually purchase the product. The visitor value is $4.29, the average sale is $36, and then the refund rate is 4%. If the refund rate is less than 5%, then that's great. If you see that the refund rate is like over 5%, that means the product or the service is not that good. You're gonna have a lot of problems with it, and also you're gonna get like notifications that you got some sales, and you're gonna be excited to see you got sales, and then tomorrow morning you wake up and you see the earnings disappeared because someone requested a refund. That means the product is not good, and you should definitely not promote it. But if the refund rate is less than 5%, then that's great. So you would basically, based on those metrics, based on whether the conversion rate is over 7%, and then based on whether the average sale is a decent enough, and it's not just like $3, like in this case, but in this case, like $43, $43 and then the refund rate is less than 5%, then you would request to actually promote that offer. And what you want to do is you just want to click on request, and then that's going to take you to the next page, where, as you can see, you can request the approval, and you will just, you can untake this box as well, so they don't spam you with emails, but you will aim for the request notes, and you can explain to them why you think you would be a suitable affiliate for that particular offer. You will explain exactly why you're not going to be sending bad traffic, and why you know exactly how to actually drive consistent and real traffic to their offer that's not going to decrease their overall conversion rate. And you can even tell them that you are going through Dave Nick's training program, because most of these people on these affiliate marketplaces already know about me and my channel, so they know that you know how to actually drive consistent traffic that actually produces results. So you can definitely mention that. And once you get approved for one of these offers, the button is going to become green and it's going to say get link. And that's where you actually grab your affiliate links. You basically just click on get link and you can copy your affiliate link right away and you can start sharing that with other people. Now, for the sake of this example, I will be promoting one of the offers from the Online Business Academy because at the Online Business Academy, we have the best trainings related to online business and making money online. So I'm going to be promoting my personal offer called Automation Systems where I teach people exactly how they can drive consistent traffic with a YouTube automation, like basically a business model where they don't have to show their face, they don't have to record anything with a camera, and they can make money in different ways. So this is basically a perfect offer for the online business niche and the internet marketing niche. So this is the product that I'm going to be promoting. This is a $995 course that I will promote so I can also keep 100% of the profits whenever someone buys this through my link. To quickly recap our business plan and what we are actually doing, so you chose an offer that you want to promote. Let's say that offer is about how to make money online. It's a, it's a course that teaches people how to make money online. Now you want to build a simple product, simple digital product that's just going to touch the surface of that topic. In this case, that particular topic on how to make money online, it's just going to talk about the basic stuff so that afterwards we can upsell the person who took that free course to that paid product, in this case, paid make money online course. If you, for example, selected to promote some software. This works for any niche. I just used this as an example. But let's say, for example, you wanted to promote a software called vidIQ, which is a tool that helps people get views and get subscribers. Now you can build a simple free course that talks about the basics of YouTube growth and how to get views and then tells them that if they actually want to grow their YouTube channel and they want to expand their YouTube business, they should sign up through vidIQ through your referral link. So basically an upsell. So you're basically targeting people and you're giving them free value first you're explaining to them why that is important and then you're offering them a solution which is that product or service or software that you're promoting as an affiliate. And of course later on I'm going to go into more details on how to actually build the landing page for that course that we're going to build in this module. But I also wanted to share, quickly share this new AI bot that just came out called Mixo. And Mixo.io is a tool that helps you create a landing page by just giving them a prompt. So you don't even have to build or code anything from scratch. It's extremely easy and simple, you literally click on get started for free. And let's say, for example, you want to build a course that teaches people how to make money on YouTube without showing face. Now you can just click on generate site and it's going to connect to AI and the AI will build an entire business around this. It's going to build like a, a, a logo, it's going to build a startup name, and it's also going to build a landing page that you can use. So here it is. Here's a full landing page that I can use. Make money on YouTube without showing your face. Obviously, it's extremely basic, like YouTube Profit Academy. Academy, unlock the secret to make money on YouTube without showing your face. This entire landing page was created for me in a second. And now I can, of course, customize this. Like if I don't like some parts, if I want to change something, I can easily customize that. And I can also generate another if I completely don't like it. But I can just click on save and customize. So I would need to create an account. So you can either sign in with Google or just create an account by entering your email. And then you can select one of their plans. For this, we'll literally just need the most basic plan, which is 
dollars a month to get an entire website basically done for you in a couple of seconds so this is one of the options later on we're gonna go into a different tool which is gonna be cheaper which is gonna be free so you can use it for free as well before having to pay you don't have to pay right away for that second tool but it will require a little bit more time and effort but if you want to get it instantly if you want to get an instant sales page for your course for your free course that you're creating in this module then you can definitely go with mixo.io and you can get started with it right away the very first step of building a course that provides surface based information entry level information for someone that wants to learn more about what your offer or product is about is you need to have an outline for that course so that's the step number one and for this you can just go over to chat gpt over the openai.com slash chat gpt and you can just ask him to write a basic outline about a course that's related to the offer or the product that you are promoting once again if you are promoting a a software like vidiq that helps people get views and subscribers and you can ask him to write an outline for a course that teaches people basic stuff on how to get views and how to grow on YouTube if you are promoting some offer that helps people lose weight fast it's a weight loss product then you will ask him to write a brief outline for a course that teaches people about losing weight or about the benefits of being fit so for example I'm promoting a product automation systems which is a $1,000 course that teaches people in details step by step how they can start a YouTube automation business to make money on YouTube without showing their face and use those faceless channels to drive consistent traffic to whatever it is that they want to promote. So what I will ask ChatGPT is to write a course outline about how to make money on YouTube without showing your face, a business model as well known as YouTube automation. So let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. So it's going to start with a course title, which we are most likely going to change. Then we have a course description, which we don't necessarily need, but it's great that he is providing us with this as well so it basically describes what he is going to write uh, after this and now we have the course outline we have the module number one we have the introduction we also have the the, the different lectures and so far i actually like it because it touches the, the the basics like module number one is an introduction to youtube automation understanding what youtube automation is exploring the benefits of this business model identifying successful youtube channels that's great choosing a niche creating content marketing your channel monetizing your channel this is actually a really really good outline for a course and it's fully being generated by AI in front of our eyes I'm literally not touching the keyboard everything is being done by this AI bot and this is really cool we also have the conclusion as well we have some case studies that we can share and this is really really good so this is a perfect outline for my course I'm literally just going to use this and as you can see it was generated in a couple of seconds so you, that's exactly what you will need to do you will just need to ask the chat GPT AI bot to write a course outline for the for the course that you want to build that's going to teach people the basics of that particular business or that particular topic or whatever that might be or that industry once again it doesn't matter if it's about weight loss it doesn't matter if it's about how to get six-pack apps that course that we are building with AI just needs to teach them the basics of it so we can give them that course for free it still provides some value but it's not enough for them to actually achieve that goal which in this case is gonna be to actually have a successful YouTube automation business they are gonna learn the basics they're gonna learn how it works from this course but in order to learn exactly how to actually implement all of this they would need to sign up for a paid course and that's exactly where we will actually make the money once you have an entire course outline I highly recommend you save it somewhere external for example I literally copied and pasted it into a Google document so I can have it saved over here so I have a course outline here now what we want to do is we want to start writing scripts for each of these lectures so in my case the lecture number one is understanding what YouTube automation is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new chat over here and I'm gonna ask to write a script for a course lecture called understanding what YouTube automation is and now he's gonna start writing a full script for my lecture number one so as you can see welcome to today's lecture on understanding what YouTube automation is in this lecture and it starts talking about it so I'm basically gonna use this lecture for my course it's gonna be the lecture number one and I'm gonna repeat the same process until I have all of these different lectures the next one is gonna be exploring the benefits of this business model so I'm gonna ask him to write a script for the same course so I can even tell him for the same 
same course and then I'm going to copy and paste this text. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to paste it over here. Understanding and exploring the benefits of this business model called YouTube automation. And then I'm going to ask him to write that. And now what you can do with this first script, you can, you can obviously open up a blank brand new Google document and you can paste the script number one just so you don't lose it. So this is going to be my lecture number one. I'm going to copy and paste this into a Google document and then I'm going to ask him to write a second script. So write a script for the same course lecture called exploring the benefits of this business model called YouTube automation. So he's going to start writing the second script for the second lecture of the course. Now you can of course modify these lectures if you don't like some parts or if you think you shouldn't be using the same intro like for example hello and welcome to today's lecture. You don't necessarily need that so you can definitely remove that and of course make changes to these scripts. But the point is that the majority of the work 90% of your work can be completed by this AI bot. They're writing these scripts. Of course they are not perfect right now but as I said you can customize them a little bit for your course but you will not have to write them from scratch and you will not have to spend hundreds of dollars on expensive script writers and freelancing platforms. So that's how you can write a script for each of your lectures. Here it is the second lecture and in this case I think we have about 15 or 20 lectures that I would need to get written by this AI and then I can continue to narrating these scripts with another AI bot. Now once you have the course outline and you also have your script written by an AI, the next thing that you will need to do is you will need to have a voiceover for each of these scripts, for each of these lectures. You need someone to actually lecture this topic. So for example, this is my script number one and this is the lecture number one, understanding what YouTube automation is. What I can do right now is I can go over to a tool called Eleven Labs and this is literally the best text-to-speech software so far. In the past we had some kind of good text-to-speech software but they all sound robotic you could at one point tell like okay this is AI this is robot but with 11 labs you can never tell that this is an actual AI in some cases it sounds even better than actual humans and the good thing is that you can even upload custom voices you can even add your own voice so when someone actually reads this script it's gonna sound like you are reading the script now keep in mind that it did have to have to change the settings so that it doesn't sound exactly like the copy of your voice because obviously people would abuse this and use voices of celebrities so they don't really allow to have like one out of one copy but you can still upload your own custom voice and it's going to be 100% original no one else will have the same voice as well or you can just go with some of the pre-made voices that they have over here so you can just paste the script right over here so let's say for example I'm just going to grab one of the parts so I'm going to go with welcome to lecture number one where we will briefly discuss what YouTube automation is and how it works or I can of course copy and paste the entire lecture as well so I can copy this and I can paste it inside of this box and I can click on generate and Ellie that's the voice, we'll start reading this. Welcome to lecture number one, where we will briefly discuss what YouTube automation is and how it works. First off, one of the meanings of YouTube automation is simply outsourcing parts of your video creation process. This means you hand different tasks, such as video editing, thumbnail creation, or channel management off to freelancers or specialized companies. This actually sounds really, really good. You can never tell that it was made by an AI. It was really read by an AI. And as you can see, I have a full voice or a full narration for my scripts and for my lectures in less than five seconds. I literally just paste my script, click generate, and I have this entire voiceover that I can use for my video. So now all I gotta do is download this. This is a one minute long lecture. Lecture number one, great introduction to YouTube automation. I'm gonna download this audio file to my computer and I can continue doing the same thing. So you go back, you grab the, the, the copy of your script that was written by ChatGPT or any other AI bot, and then you just use that and you paste it into 11 labs to have the voiceover for your videos and for your entire course. Now. One once you have all the scripts completed and you have the voiceover, you have the narration for your course, you will need the slides and the presentation for the actual lectures. And for this, there are two different ways you can get around this. For this, you can use the first AI bot, it's called a Foam App. This is already Tome App, I'm gonna leave a link to it as well. And basically, these are AI generated presentations where you can just enter a prompt and based on your prompt, it will generate an entire presentation for you. So let me show you how it works. So just click create after signing up and then you can just enter what your presentation should be be about. So for example, what I can do is I can just say how to make money on YouTube without showing face, a business model as well known as YouTube automation. And I can leave this AI bot to create a presentation. It's going to take him just a couple of seconds. Now it's generating an outline. And let's see if this is actually compatible with the course that we are creating. So we have the introduction where they explain what YouTube automation is and how making money on YouTube without showing your face actually works. And then we have the step number one, which is a research. It explains the process of how to actually create faceless YouTube automation 
generation videos, which is great because that's exactly what we want to explain to the people that get in. And as I said, we're just touching the surface of the particular topic. So we are not, we don't really want to show exactly how it's done. We just want to mention the basics of how they can actually do a particular thing, whether that's how to lose weight, or whether that's how to start a faceless YouTube channel, whether that's how to get views, whether that's whatever that might be. And here we have a full presentation that is actually related to what we are making. So we have the introduction to YouTube automation. Then the step number one is to do the research, which is true. Then set up your channel well i would honestly say that like creating the content and like generating the scripts and then generating the voiceovers and video editing and thumbnails is important but it's okay and then we can have automating the process or automating your channel and then we also have monetizing your channel as well we don't necessarily need these images from the right side because they were generated by an ai and they don't really make sense this is like an alien with a weird youtube logo uh, which we don't necessarily need we just need these slides over here so what you can do and what i would personally do is I would fake this, but I will not just basically just copy and paste this entire script and basically just go with everything that was generated by AI because, for example, we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need the conclusion as well. So what I would do is I would open up Canva.com, which is an external platform, and you can go to Canva.com and you can go to the presentations sections after signing up for free, and then you can select one of these templates and you can edit your template, you can edit your presentation here. So let's say, for instance, I'm going to go with this one over here and I'm gonna edit this presentation template. So I can select one of the slides from the left side and let's say I wanna go with this one. I don't necessarily need all of these. I can customize everything. So I don't like when there's too many things happening around. So I will just change this text to introduction and then I will change this to whatever the AI has generated and I can have my first slide right here. Now, if I don't like this font, which I honestly don't, I can definitely change it to something else. If I don't like this one, I can use, for example, this font. And here we have the slide number one. And I can, of course, change these images as well. I can go to the element section or I can upload my own images. If I want to upload something that's related to YouTube, I can find different images here. So perhaps I can paste this one and then I can also paste this one as well right over here. And here's the slide number one. I can, of course, duplicate this page and I can go back to this app and I can see what was the slide number one. It was about research. So I will go step number one and I will paste that here. It says research and then it explains exactly what the research is about. I will copy this and then I will paste that here. If needed, if I need to make some space, I will make the text a little bit smaller so that I can fit in the next sentence as well or the next paragraph and I'm going to paste that right over here. So here we have it. Now I can also add different images as well. So I'm going to type in something related to research perhaps and I'm going to use this image I'm going to paste it here and I'm also going to use this image as well. And here we have it. This is a slide number two. Now I'm going to duplicate this page and I'm going to go back to this AI tool and I'm going to copy whatever it was here. Here says the headline. I'm going to paste the headline right over here. I'm going to increase the size and then I'm going to paste the text that was below. So I'm going to copy this and I'm gonna paste it right over here. And at this point, all I'm doing is basically copying and pasting from the AI tool which generated the entire presentation for me. So this is the slide number three for my first lecture. Now, once you generate a full presentation, you can download it by pressing the share button and you can click on download and you can download all the pages. So click on all pages, download it as a PDF standard and download that to your computer. So here you have a full presentation that you can now use for your lectures. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to combine the audio file, the narration, the voiceover that was previously generated by an AI with this presentation so you have a full video lecture that you can upload as your course. The next step of the process is to take all of this and turn it into a video lecture. And there are two different ways that you can do this. First of all, you can do it manually by downloading each of these sections and each of these slides as PNG or JPEG files. So what I mean by that is you select, for example, JPEG, and then you select, for example, the page number one for the slide number one, click done, and you download it to your computer. And once you have all the slides to your computer, you can just open up CapCut, which is a tool, a video editing tool that is completely beginner friendly. There's, of course, a lot of different video editing software you can try out. This is an example one, but you can then select YouTube ads after signing up and you can start from blank. You can start with a blank template. You can start from scratch and then you can upload your media on the left side. So there is a tutorial, which I'm going to skip. And then after uploading your media, you can basically just drag and drop and you can start adding different slides. So this is going to be the introduction one. This is going to be the step number two or the slide number two. Then we also have the slide number three. And so we have them all over here. And I also uploaded my 
audio file, the voiceover, the narration for this lecture, and I can just upload it right away. And now I can edit the video. So when AI reads the script, I can just adjust which scene that should be, which slide that should be. So I can just listen to what she's saying and then I can adjust the, the slide number one, for example, if it ends over here and I will cut it. So let's, let's listen Welcome to, to it. Welcome to lecture number one, where we will briefly discuss what YouTube automation is and how it works. First off, one of the meanings of YouTube automation is simply outsourcing parts of your video creation process. This means you hand different tasks, such as video editing, thumbnail creation, or channel management off to freelancers or specialized companies. Welcome to lecture number one, where we will briefly discuss what YouTube automation is and how it works. First off, one of the meanings of YouTube automation and that's how you can fully edit your slides. And then once you're done, you can just click on export and you can download this to your computer. So that's one of the ways to do it, to manually edit your videos with some video editing software. The second way that you can get around this is to use this AI tool called Pictory AI, where you can essentially just paste your script into a box and it's gonna edit a video for you, but you will not be able to upload the presentation which you previously made, but it's still gonna be decent. So you can click on script to video, you can click on proceed, and then you can enter your video name. So you can just go back to your Google document, in my case, that's gonna be this document over here. I'm gonna copy the title of the script and I'm just gonna paste it right over here and then I'm gonna copy this entire script and I'm gonna paste it into Pictory so that they can generate a video for me and I don't actually have to edit it myself. So I can just click on proceed and then I can select from some of these templates. Let's say for example, I wanna go with this one. I will select this size over here. So you want a work vertical video and it's gonna start generating this video for us. It's gonna edit the video. The AI is gonna do it for you and it's gonna take a couple of seconds to do that because this video is pretty short. It's just one minute long, but in some cases it can take a couple of minutes for them to edit your video full which is still fine because you're not actually doing the work yourself and it was, it's pretty much done for you. And also keep in mind that it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be like the best video that you ever saw, but it will have captions and it will change slides pretty quickly. So it's going to be engaging for the viewer. And you can also upload your voiceover, which is 100% recommended, and it's going to sync the audio with the script. So you can just upload the voiceover here, and then you can select that this voiceover is throughout the entire video, and it's going to auto sync the voiceover through the script and through the actual video and the slides that are showing up on the screen. And I'm going to show you exactly how the final product is going to look like. We will have our first lecture edited in just a couple of seconds with this AI tool. And you can also use Welcome it free for- Welcome to lecture number one, where we will briefly discuss- you can also use it free for a lifetime, but it will have the watermark over here, which you can remove only if you upgrade for a couple of dollars a month, but you can definitely That's get started with it for free. automation is and how it works. First off, one of the meanings of YouTube automation is simply outsourcing parts of- And it even added a background music as well. Process. This means you hand different tasks, such as video editing, thumbnail creation, or channel management off to freelancers this is actually really good. The, the files, the video files are actually matching what she is For talking about. Companies. Overall, this type of YouTube automation can be hugely helpful in growing your channel and improving your mental health. Many creators are teetering. And as you can see, the video is fully edited by AI. You can just say it looks good and you can download it, you can export it to your computer. So you'll just click on generate a video and it's gonna start generating these scenes. It's gonna start creating different scenes. And so those are two different ways that you can create videos, that you can edit videos either manually by yourself, which will take a little bit more, but in my opinion, it will be better. You will be able to create higher quality videos but if you also don't wanna do that yourself, you can use an AI tool like Pictory, which is gonna do it for you. It's not gonna be as perfect, at least as of right now, maybe in the future, because AI really progresses rapidly. Maybe in a couple of months, they will perfect the service, and maybe there's gonna be an even better tool where I will update this lecture, obviously, then share that tool with you. But at this point, it's not gonna be perfect. But still, considering the fact that it's absolutely free and you can generate a full video in just a couple of minutes with one click of a button without having to do to work yourself, I think that's pretty astonishing. And now once you have all the video lectures ready, I do also recommend you add one additional lecture where you're gonna be explaining your offer, you know, that product or service that you're trying to upsell. Explain how that product or service is gonna benefit them for whatever that might be. In this case, I will create a separate video lecture explaining how my course, Automation Systems, is gonna explain to them in details exactly, step by step, how to actually do YouTube automation, how to do the proper research, exactly how to create 
create those videos, how to go viral, how to get views. So I would explain all of that in one video lecture and I will tell them that they can actually get access to it right away. And that's how I would upsell on that basic course that we are giving away for free. So we're giving that basic course for free once again. And then you're creating a video lecture between those video, between all of those videos, you're creating one single video that upsells them through that product or service where they can get more details about what they're interested in, or it just complements whatever they're trying to achieve in this case, or in some other cases, if once again, they're trying to get more views on YouTube and you created a basic course that explains the YouTube algorithm or whatnot, but doesn't show exactly how to do it. And then you tell them that they can also use VidIQ Fuel and that's like complementing what you're already showing them in the course. So what you will also need to do is you will need to upload your course somewhere. So you will need a platform to host those video lectures. And there are endless options because, especially because we're be giving away this course for free. So you're not really interested in selling this course because it's not as valuable. And the goal was to just attract as many people by giving them free value. So what you can do is you can host your course on Teachable like I'm personally doing. So I host all my courses on Teachable as of right now. Teachable does have a many flaws uh, and I'm definitely looking for different alternatives. But as of right now, it's the most simple option. So you can just log into your Teachable account after signing up for free and you don't even have to pay for any of their pricing plans or whatsoever. Just go with a free account because you're not going to be selling anything. And then just click on new course right over here and then you will name your course. For example, I'm just going to name it how to make money on YouTube without showing your face and then just click on continue. And now you can start outlining the course. So we have the section number one and we can rename that. So I can rename the section and that section is going to be the module number one. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here and click on save. And then we have the first lesson and I'm going to rename the lesson and I'm just going to copy and paste understanding what YouTube automation is. And here I have the first lesson and I click on add a new lesson and that new lesson is exploring the benefits of this business model. So I'm going to paste that here. So essentially I'm just repeating the process, copying and pasting and to upload your lectures, you basically just click on these three dots or you can just open up the lecture like this and you can add the content over here and you can add the video and you can upload it from your computer. So I'm going to upload that video that was created by Pictory AI buff and it's going to upload in a couple of seconds. You can also add your links in order to add a link above the video lecture. So if you're promoting your product, your offer, whatever that might be, you just click on add a content and you can either add an upsell or you can just add some text. So I'm going to click on text and images and then I can create a call to action. For example, click here to learn more about how to start a successful YouTube automation business or to increase your conversion rate. In some cases, I would say, here's how I actually make $700 a day with YouTube automation. And then I'm going to say, automation systems in the brackets. And then all I need to do is just bold this and then insert my either affiliate link or the link to that offer that you're trying to promote. So I'm just going to paste that text over here and I'm going to click on save and I'm going to save this. So I will have this text above the video lecture so that they can see the call to action. They can click on it and it's going to take them to an offer where they can buy that. So this is how you upload your lectures. If we go back to the curriculum, now I can keep on uploading more lectures. I can keep on adding more lectures and more modules to add a brand new module. I just click a new section and then I can go back and I can name the section in this case, module number two, choosing a niche and I'm going to click on save and I'm going to add a lesson for that. Identifying profitable niches, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste that here and I'm just going to keep on adding new lessons. Now, once you add all of these different lessons by copying and pasting and by uploading your videos, you will be able to add more information about the course by pressing on the information section over here and then you can publish your course right away because you don't really care about customizing the sales page because this is not where we are going to be hosting the sales page. You just need somewhere to host those videos. So you're going to click on publish the course and you're going to publish the full course after uploading all the lectures and you added your upsells. So you added the links to those offers that you're trying to promote. And once you have all of that, then you can go to the pages section and then you can find the checkout link over here. So if I click on preview the link, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open it up. And then you can also just go to pricing plans and you can add a brand new pricing plan. You can just select that it's absolutely free. So just enter free and just enter the name of this plan. So I can basically just say it's a free plan and then I can click on add a free plan so that people can enroll for free. And then you can copy the checkout link right over here. So you can copy the checkout link. And if you open it up in a brand new incognito browser, here's how that's actually going to look like. So someone goes to this page and they can enroll in the course for completely free. As you can see, all they got to do is just sign up with their email. And when they sign up with their email, they're going to get access to that course and they're going to enroll in it for completely free. So that's the link that you actually need. You can just copy that right over here. You're going to copy the URL, which 
which takes people to that absolutely free course, which you just generated with AI. Just remember that you do have upsells in it and you are promoting something because otherwise you're just promoting a free course and you're not making any money. But if you have the upsells and this course is designed to sell some product, a service, whatever offer you're trying to promote, then this can actually be extremely profitable. Now, there are two different ways to build a sales page, a landing page where you're going to be capturing emails and where, where you're going to be hosting your free course, which upsells people to an offer. And the very first option is to use Mixo, which is an AI tool that we previously talked about, where you can literally just tell him what kind of sales page you need and the AI bot will create that sales page for you. But it does have its flaws and it also doesn't allow you to do certain things which you can do with the second tool which I'm about to share with you in this video but once again if you want to use Mixer you can just click on get started you can sign up for free you can just describe what type of landing page you need so for example I will say free course about how to make money on YouTube without showing face click on generate site and it's gonna generate a full site with a name with a logo with a landing page call to action and you can also fully customize that as well and you can play around with the colors you can play around with copywriting and all of that it only takes a couple of seconds to get a full website and get your copy done for you, which once again, isn't perfect, but it literally takes just a couple of seconds. And as you can see, it doesn't look bad at all. And this is how you can use Mixo AI bot. So this is the first option. The second option is to use get response where you can do more advanced stuff. And I personally recommend this. This is what I personally do. I personally recommend get response over Mixo because you can do more things and you can actually build a sustainable online business around it. Unlike with Mixo, which is a great AI tool and hopefully it will get better in the future so that it becomes the main tool that we use. But as of right now, that's going to be get response. So you can sign up to get response for free. You can get started for completely free and you only pay once you reach like a thousand contacts or something like that. But at that point, you should be making decent amount of money. And so it wouldn't make any difference to pay for their pricing plan, whatever it is, like 20 bucks a month or something like that. So you can just go to the context section over here to get started and you can create a brand new list over here. And in this case, I'm going to name the list YouTube automation. So you're going to name your list. This is internal, so no one is actually going to see this except for you. So you're going to create a list. Once you create a list, you can go to the tools section before you start setting up autoresponders and you set up the automated workflow, you will need to start building your landing page. So you want to click on landing pages on the left side. And there you can click on create a landing page and you can start building a landing page for your course. And they do have a lot of different templates for you to choose from. So you're just going to decide what works the best for you. And then once you find something that you like, you just click on select the template. And if you like it, you just enter the name or here. So I'm just going to enter YouTube automation free course and click on next step. So you can start customizing that sales page. I'm going to show you exactly where AI is going to play a role in this. But as of right now, this is how my offer is going to look like. And if I click on next step over here and I click on proceed without mobile version, I'm going to come back to edit the, the sales page. But as of right now, what you want to do is you want to select the list. So choose that list, which you just made. So in this case, it's going to call YouTube automation and click on publish. And what this does is that when someone goes to this landing page, once we edit it, it's going to make sense. But once they come to this landing page and they enter their email address over here, they are actually going to be subscribed to your email list. Now, most importantly, what you also want to do is you want to insert the checkout link afterwards so that people can enroll in the free course after they enter their email address. So you want to copy the checkout URL from Teachable and then you want to go back and click on next step again and then go to that page where you can actually insert your checkout link. So what I'm going to select is I'm going to select the, the, the custom thank you page and then enter the custom URL from Teachable and click on publish. So now now they're going to be redirected to the checkout link after they submit their email address. So now we can go back and we can start editing this sales page, this landing page. So I want to click on edit page and now you can fully play around and customize with, uh, customize everything. So you can change the logo. If you don't uh, don't need a logo, you can just remove it, of course. And then you can customize the, the copy and you can customize the headline. You can change the font and all of that. And you can play around with different designs. If you want to add a new font, you just click on add new font and you can select from one of these. So I personally prefer to use Montserrat for my sales pages. I personally really, really like that one. You can, of course, go with any other font of your choice. And I can add this font. As you can see, this is how it's going to look like. If I want to make it smaller, this is how I need to do it. So now what I can do is I can either get some copy from this platform from Mix so I can see what they wrote and I can use that. Or you can use a dedicated AI tool, which is going to do the copy for your landing page. I'm going to show you how to do that. But you can also copy and paste from Mixo as well if you think they did a great job with their copywriting. Now, of course, 
Many people will use ChatGPT AI bot for copywriting, but honestly, ChatGPT wasn't really made for copywriting services. There is a purpose that ChatGPT is fulfilling, and yes, it can do some copywriting, but as I said, it's not its main purpose. It's not the best at copywriting. So that's why you can use tools that are more dedicated towards that. And one of the AI tools that I personally use is WriteSonic. So at WriteSonic, they actually help you do copywriting. That's what they specialize in. They're not like ChatGPT and they're fully updated for that. And then you can just sign into your account after signing up for free and then you can start using it. So there's going to be a lot of different tools at our disposal over here once it loads. And as you can see, you can write paragraphs automatically. You can write articles. You can get company bios. You can get Amazon product descriptions. You can get Twitter tweets. You can get a lot of different things. But what we are going to be using this for is doing the actual copy for our landing page. So you can enter the project name over here. In my case, it's it's called free course on how to make money and then you can also enter the features and then you can click on generate and it's going to generate the copy for your landing page and as you can see now the full copy has been generated on the right side we can have we have a full website and even an example of how this can actually look like so it was fully generated by ai so what you can do is you can pretty much just take this text and you can copy that and you can paste it back into your get response landing page and you can fully customize it with your own fonts, colors, designs and everything. And then make sure that your font actually matches and it's consistent. So don't use different fonts and different colors. If you're, you're going to use the blue color, then make sure that the entire website is blue. If you are going to use the red color, make sure that the theme of the website is actually red. And then you can also change these images as well. And then you can add different tags here. You can even insert a video, maybe even a sales video for this and make sure to mention that the product is actually free, that you are not selling anything so you can say get a free course day and then I can also say limited to make some scarcity and then we can drive down and pretty much just copy and paste what right Sonic has generated for us if I want to replace this I, could, I will just click on replace this image and I can either use some of the free get response images let me try to find something that's related to money if you don't really have anything good I can of course download something from Google and I honestly don't want to use any of these so I can perhaps just go over to flat icon search for money icons and then use one of these so for example, I'm going to use this one, click on free download and then go back to get response and upload it, go to my files. And this is honestly going to look a little bit better. So I'm going to place it somewhere around here. And this is how it's going to look like. And I'm also going to add free here as well to make sure that they know that we are not actually selling anything. And then I'm going to also replace this image. And this is it. This would be my most basic AI generated sales page with get response. So here we have a couple of details about a free course. And now I can pretty much just save this. And now if we preview it and we go to the actual sales page, so I'm going to preview that and someone comes in and they want to take the free course and how to make money on YouTube, they're going to enter their name here. So let's say it's, for example, Ryan, and he enters his email address over here. And he can also go through and see about the features of this course. And he can now click on the sign up now. And that's obviously going to then redirect him back to Teachable so he can enroll in the free course. And as he enrolls in the free course, this is what he's going to see. So understanding what YouTube automation is, he's going to start with the lecture number one. He's going to start watching the course Welcome and hopefully you will have an upsell where he can actually purchase some of your products or services. It's going to take him to the sales page or the affiliate offer or your own product or service. And most importantly, you're now going to have his email. You know, you're going to have an email of that potential customer. So now you can set up autoresponders and market different products and offers to that same person. And now finally, before you start driving traffic to your sales page and you start collecting those emails, what you will need to do is you will need to set up automation systems so that once again, you are actually building a sustainable online business. You're building your contacts list, you're building your subscribers list, and now you want to set up automation systems to promote either different offers or the same offer again and again to make sure that you are actually going to get that sale and either earn an affiliate commission or make profits from your own digital product or service. So what you can do is you can go back to get a response and you can go to the tool section you can go to autoresponders and you can set up autoresponders when someone enters their email address on your landing page essentially what that does is when they enter their email address because they're going to be subscribed to your email list you can set up autoresponders where they're going to receive an email from you after a certain period of time and that's going to be fully autopilot so basically you can go back to autoresponders click on create an autoresponder for your list and you can select it for example they're going to receive this email as soon as they subscribe to an email list so same time as the sign up time 
zero days so right away and then you can enter the subject line here and you can start designing your message and for this you can also use different AI tools that are available at your disposal to write those emails you can even use chat GPT if you don't want to pay for any tool you can pretty much just ask chat GPT to write an email for like your new email subscriber congratulating them congratulating them on claiming their free access to the YouTube automation course and as you can see congr congratulations on claiming your free access to the YouTube automation course I'm thrilled to welcome you to the YouTube automation course and congratulate you on successfully claiming your free access so we can essentially just copy and paste this of course make some changes to it if needed because it's not going to be perfect with any of these AI bots so you definitely want to take a look you want to read the email and if you like it of course go ahead and copy and paste it but in some cases in most cases you will actually have to make some changes to the email that was designed by AI so I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on design the message I'm going to click on blank templates I'm going to start with a blank template here I'm just going to drag the text block from the right side so I'm going to drag it over here and I'm going to paste my email and this is how it's going to look like of course we need to edit it a little bit and most importantly what you can also do is you can insert the checkout link again to make sure that they are actually claiming that free course and you're redirecting them back to that course that we previously made so you can insert the link here as well so you can highlight a part of the text and you can insert that checkout link from teachable again in my case this is going to be the link so I'm going to copy the URL and just paste it over here and click on insert and this can be the first email that I'm going to send to that person after they sign up so I'm going to change this to my name and you can also insert a code right over here when they enter their name you can add a code which is going to read their name and it's going to read their first name so it's going to be custom and it's going to say dear first name if they enter Ryan it's going to say dear Ryan for them and now you can just click on the next and this is going to be our first autoresponder you can enter the subject line over here I'm going to grab the subject line and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it over here. And as you can see, get response even has their own AI subject line generator. So let's see what they are able to generate. So what this is email about this email is about congratulations on claiming your YouTube automation course. And I'm going to click on generate and let's see what they come up with. Let's see if it's better than chat GPT or not. And honestly, none of these are actually good. So I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to go with the chat to GPT response. And now I can click on save and publish and we will have our first order responder which is going to be sent once again automatically when someone submits their email address on the website now to set up a more order responders all you got to do is pretty much just click on create another order responder select the linked list in this case it's called a YouTube automation and then you can select for example now send them one email after two days after they've signed up so you don't want to spam them and send them like five emails a day so maybe you can wait for a day or two days and then send them another email and then you can enter the subject line you can perhaps promote something else so you can may perhaps find some product or service or offer that is related to the initial offer that you were promoting previously so for example in this case it was a course on how to make money on YouTube without showing your face so now the next email that I can send can perhaps promote some tool that it helps them get views and subscribers on YouTube so perhaps I could go back to chat GPT and I can ask him to write an email for my email subscribers about a new tool called weed IQ which helps them get more views and subscribers on YouTube and I'm gonna let chat GPT write a response while I grab a referral link from vid IQ so I need to go back to my vid IQ account go to the affiliate center and then just copy my affiliate link which is gonna be here on the left side and let's see what chat GPT has written so far and I honestly don't like having the name of the tool in the actual subject line because it really really decreases the conversion rate so I would definitely not go with that I also don't like mentioning with IQ or any of those tools mentioning the names of those tools in the email so I honestly wouldn't go with an email like this so I would definitely need to change my prompt and see exactly what they would come up afterwards so for example I can say write an email to my email list about a brand new tool that it helps and get more views and subscribers and I'm not gonna mention with IQ at all and then I can take some parts from this email maybe change it a little bit and take something from this new email that they're writing and then use that perhaps and let's see what a get response AI generator for the subject line is gonna say if I type in for example how to get more views on YouTube and go viral fast and I'm gonna enter this is a tool and click on generate and let's see what it's gonna come up with as you can see get response AI tool is definitely not there yet they think that I'm talking about emails even though I wrote getting more views and going viral so this is obviously not gonna work let's go back and see what the chat GPT has written for us so I can perhaps use this subject line and I can paste it right over here click on design the message click on blank templates then use the blank templates to start from scratch and then just drag and drop the text block 
go back and then copy this entire email and then I can paste that email right over here and of course edit that a little bit because it does look kind of messy as of right now and as you can see the ChatGPT even told us where to include the name or where to include the link to that tool so you can essentially just change that and insert a call to action and a link that takes people to that particular tool that you want to promote and then once you're done changing that and you've included your affiliate link and the way you include an affiliate link you just click insert link and then you paste that link over here so in my case that will be what iq.com slash Dave Nick and I can click on insert and now it's going to become clickable I can also make it bold I can change the colors and everything and then just click on next and then publish this so now this is another email that's going to be sent on an autopilot two days after someone has entered their email address on my landing page and you can continue to do this and continue to generate different emails with different AI tools to have an autoresponder and basically have emails sent on an autopilot for the next 180 days 360 days or even a couple of years in advance just remember to save and publish that and here's a second email that's going to be sent to our email list on autopilot so to summarize whenever someone goes to my landing page right now if they enter their first name in their email address to claim this course for free they're going to enter my subscribers list my email subscriber list and the autoresponder will get triggered and it will start sending them emails every one day two days three days five days depending on how you set them up but you can have emails sent for you on your behalf by an ai for the next couple of months or even years and that way continuously have people clicking on your links where you can promote different offers, products, and services related to this first initial product. Make sure that it is related because you don't want to promote like suddenly out of nowhere you start promoting, for example, some weight loss pills, even though they subscribe to an email list for YouTube automation or getting more views on YouTube or whatsoever. And then out of nowhere, there is an email that promotes a weight loss offer. So make sure that the offer products and services that you are promoting are actually related to each other and resonate with a person that signed up to that email list. Now, if you've been following me since 2016, 2017, then you probably already know that Facebook and promoting different products on Facebook was one of the first online businesses that actually got me to over $100 a day in profit. So Facebook groups are actually extremely effective and they're great if you don't already have your own social media followers and you don't want to spend any money on ads or whatsoever. If you're just starting out, you can definitely get decent results with Facebook groups. And I'm going to show you some AI bot later on that you can use to actually automate a process and beat the competition that is also trying to get some conversions from Facebook. And also a massive advantage for you is that you are not selling anything. You're giving away something for free. So you're already making things a lot easier for you and everyone else has to struggle because they got to sell like a $500 product right away, but you have something to offer for free first. So what you can essentially do is you can search for Facebook groups related to the offer that you are promoting. So for example, I can go to the search bar and I can search for different make money online groups. I will search for make money online and I can filter this out by groups. And here you can see that there are some groups with hundreds of thousands of members. Those are hundreds of thousands of people that are interested in making money online in this case. Again, if you're promoting some fitness and weight loss offer, you can search for diet and weight loss and fitness groups with thousands of members. The same goes with if you're promoting some relationship offer, something related to fishing or gaming or anything, you just search for that keyword and you filter out by groups and you don't, then you just start joining these groups. So as you can see, I already joined this group with 100,000 members, but I haven't joined this one with, with 35,000 members. So I'll click on join. And as you can see, I've already requested or I'm already in. I don't even have to request. They, as you can see, they've already approved right away instantly. So I can join this group as well. I can join this group and this group and this group. And as you can see, now I'm in all of these different groups with hundreds of thousands of members that I can potentially reach with my offer. So I can just open up one of these groups. So I'm going to go with this one and then I can post something or I can see what other members are posting, which is way more recommended. And what I can do is I can see if there are people that are posting that are interested in making money online that are perhaps asking how to make money online or that are just talking about online business or in this case, YouTube automation. I could also find groups that are talking about YouTube automation and I can find newbies that are trying to start their YouTube automation businesses and I can tell them that they can get an absolutely free course to kickstart their journey and they can sign up for free and then I can share my landing page link with them. And that's actually one of the best ways to do it. Yes, of course, you can reach out to all of those people that are already in the group or you can start posting about your free course. You can create different posts, try out different methods, try out different call to actions and share your absolutely free course with, with them. In this video, I'm going to break down the strategy and exactly how we're going to be using YouTube to drive consistent traffic even when you're not showing your face and not recording anything with a camera. So we're basically going to be using the business model that we previously talked about
about in the, in the previous couple of modules, which is YouTube automation. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this, whether that's going to be with long form content or short form content. I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So here's the first example of a long form faceless YouTube automation channel, a channel where the owner of the channel has never revealed his face. This is not him. This is not him. This is basically taken from the internet. These pictures are not the, this is not the owner of the channel. And all he's doing is basically using the five elements to create these videos. The very first element is doing the research to see what is actually trending in his niche. In this case, this is the make money online niche and his channel is in the online business space. So what he does is he probably uses some tools to do the research and see what's trending and then see how he came up with these chat GPT videos. Secondly, you need the scripts for your videos. So he either writes the scripts himself or uses some of the AI tools. Then the third element is actually narrating these videos, so having the voiceover for these videos. The fourth element is editing these videos with stock footage and different elements or GIFs so that you don't have to show your face. And lastly, you need to create a thumbnail for these videos and publish them onto your YouTube channel. And then you can, as I said, monetize them with ads. We're going to talk about that in the next in the next video, but you can then monetize that with ads and then you can earn ad revenue like my channels. So you can actually get paid to drive consistent traffic to your offers. And on top of all of that in these videos, because you're talking about a certain topic, you're attracting a particular group of people. So for example, if you were talking about weight loss in these videos, you're going to attract people that are interested in losing weight so it makes sense to promote your free course that shows them how to lose weight fast and you can have a link to that course in the description box of these videos and you can easily attract thousands of people and those are thousands of targeted people that might potentially enroll in the course become your qualified leads and also potentially purchase the offer that you are promoting in that free course that we created previously and the same goes with any other niche whether that's an online business niche I could start a channel that talks about how to make money on YouTube without showing your face and all of those videos can be completely faceless like these videos over here. So as you can see, they have been fully edited without anyone recording anything with a camera. And then I can just mention in those videos or the narrator, which is an AI voiceover, can just mention that people can grab a free course to learn more about YouTube automation in the description box. And people will do that. People will sign up for the course, which is in the description box. And these videos actually have a really high conversion rate, even on faceless channels. The conversion rate is usually 10 to 15%. So if you get like 10 10,000 views in these videos, you stand a chance to get over 1,000 people signed up for your free course. That's 1,000 qualified leads from literally just one single video that isn't really blowing or whatsoever. So this is the first example for long form videos. And also, if you look at their social blade, you can see that they're making up to $8.3,000 a month just from ad revenue alone, because this channel is getting, is getting 2 million views. And they literally just started out, like they started posting maybe two or three months ago, and they're not even that that consistent as you can say two months ago they don't even have that many videos but this channel is already getting millions and millions of views so this is an example channel for long form content the second example is for the short form content this person is also posting just game plays and is not revealing their face in any of these videos yet they grew to almost 4 million subscribers and every single video that they publish gets millions and millions of views and according to their social blade they're getting 120 million views every 30 days and according to social blade that could end, end up being tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in ad revenue because you can also monetize youtube shorts with ads just as you can with long form content which is really really cool that started out in from february 20 february 1st 2023 but yeah you can actually get millions of views from youtube shorts even if you're not showing your face but the problem is that not a lot of people will actually check the description box of these youtube shorts when they watch them on their phone so it's kind of hard to get people to click the link in a description box but if you tell them that they can actually grab something for free and you also put it in the pinned comment so you leave a comment as a creator and then you pin that comment to be at the top and then on top of all of that you post it on a community post you share different things regularly on the community post then you can reach a lot of people so I have a lot of different YouTube shorts channels where we cannot get too many people to click the link in the description the conversion rate is really really low for, to get people to click on the link in the description of those YouTube shorts but because we have a channel that is now getting millions of views from those YouTube shorts 
course, which is pretty easy if you know how to use the viral strategy, which I'm going to share with you later on, then we can use the community post so that everything that I share on the community post actually gets seen by tens of thousands of people. And then from the community tab, I can actually get a lot of signups and a lot more than if I were promoting them in the YouTube shorts themselves. So we're going to talk about how to, first of all, create a long form content channel if you want to do it this way so that you can monetize it with ads and actually earn decent ad revenue uh, from those long form videos and also promote your offers that way and then promote them in the description box or how to start a short form content channel so that you can attract millions of views quickly but you will struggle a little bit to get them to click the link in the description so we will be promoting them in the pinned comments and also the community tab so let's talk about how to actually create that content with AI so that you don't have to show your face. Now, in order to actually monetize your YouTube channel, whether it's a YouTube Shorts channel or a long-form content channel, and in order to earn ad revenue from the videos that you are posting, your channel needs to be approved into the partner program. And in order to get approved into the partner program so that you can actually monetize your videos and get that bonus from YouTube at the end of the month, you need to, mo you need to meet the monetization requirements, which are to have 1,000 subscribers and either 4,000 hours of watch time or 10 million YouTube Shorts views. And even though this is achievable sometimes it takes a long long time to get there and even if you get there you might not get approved into the partner program because this is just meeting the monetization requirements to be eligible to even apply and then when you apply it's gonna be like a 30 days period where they will decide whether you're gonna get accepted into the partner program or not and for some people it takes like 12 to 18 months just to meet the monetization requirements of course it might take way less if you go viral but usually on average it takes 12 to 18 months to get approved into the partner program. So if you want to get your YouTube channel monetized right away so that every single YouTube video that you publish actually earns ad revenue depending on how many views you get, you can get access to an instantly monetized channel by going over to dfydave.com slash monetization or by clicking on the link that's above this video. So it's literally going to save you 12 to 18 months and, and it's going to save you a lot of money because you would be posting videos for months and months without actually earning any ad revenue. But instead, if you're monetized from the start and then you start posting videos then you can monetize that and then you can earn more money from your videos and you can get that bonus at the end of the month and then drive for your traffic and also get paid for that so yeah if you want to get your channel monetized right away and you want to earn ad revenue immediately from that channel you can click on the first link that's above this video or just go over to dfydave.com slash monetization in this video we're going to go over how to actually create a short form content using ai so that you don't have to show your face or record anything with a camera and put actually get millions of views on your videos. I actually have a channel that has gotten over 246 million views and I never revealed my face in any of those videos. So I'm going to show you two different ways to create those faceless YouTube shorts. So first thing is first, this is less important for YouTube shorts. This is more important for long form content, which is something that we're going to talk about in the next video, but it's still useful as well. And that is to use some tool to research before you actually start creating your YouTube shorts, just to see if the YouTube short that you're creating even has a potential to get some views. Now, this doesn't, as I said, like this doesn't really, really help with YouTube Shorts because sometimes even the most random YouTube Shorts will get millions of views. Some that you you would like think like never, no one would ever watch this. Like it's it's a completely relevant topic, but just picks up, but gets picked up by the algorithm and gets millions of views. But still you maybe want to try this tool. It's called vidIQ. So you can basically just go to vidIQ and then you can go to the keywords tab over here and you can start researching different keywords that you might have on your mind. So if I, for example, want to make a video about YouTube automation or I want to make a video about make money online and online business so that I can promote that free YouTube automation course, I can research those topics. So for example, I know that a chat GPT is currently very, very trending. So I can maybe type in make money with a chat GPT and I can see if this is something worth doing or not and as you can see the overall score is really high and it's green which means this is a really really good topic because as you can see the search volume is really high and the competition is low so I can actually get decent results with this while if I type in for example YouTube automation and chat GPT it's going to tell me that the search volume is medium. So the medium search volume and the competition is low. So this is also good, but it's not as good as the previous topic, which is making money with ChatGPT. So now that I know that, what, I'm getting, what I can do is I can go over to ChatGPT or any similar AI bot and I can ask him to give me, for example, give me five ways to make money with AI, let's say. 
and it's gonna list different topics and it's gonna list different ideas and I can use that to create an entire YouTube short. So here are five ways to make money with AI and it's gonna, it's gonna share different ways that people can make money with that. And then at the end, I can just create a call to action and tell them that they can get a free YouTube automation course, which is related to making money online and online business. And this pretty much works with literally anything else that you are promoting, whatever your free course is about, whatever the offer is about. So I'm gonna let ChatGPT finish this entire script and then we're gonna use that. So here are five ways to make money with AI. I'm actually gonna use that as well. And I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it into 11 labs so I can get an entire audio audio file, an entire voiceover done for me. So all I gotta do is basically paste the script and then click on generate, but I'm also gonna add a call to action. And for example, I'm gonna add a call to action here and I can say, and for a limited time, you can get a free YouTube automation course linked in the description to learn how to make money on YouTube without showing your face. And then I'm gonna click on generate and it's gonna generate a voiceover for me, which I'm gonna download with one click of a button over here. Here are five ways to make money with AI. Develop and sell. So I'm gonna use that. And then we're gonna go over, there are two different ways that you can edit these YouTube shorts. The very first one is if you're like completely don't wanna do it yourself and you just wanna let AI do it for you, you can just go to pictory.ai or you can also just edit them yourself. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. And that's obviously gonna perform a lot better, but if you don't wanna put that much effort and you wanna just blast as many YouTube shorts as you possibly can every single day, like have 20 YouTube shorts to maximize your chances and you can definitely use Pictory AI. So you can just go to login after creating an account and then you can start the video from script. So you can click on proceed right over here and then you can paste the script over here and then you can enter the name. For example, it's gonna be five ways to make money with AI. And then I'm gonna click on proceed and it's gonna generate a video for me based on the template that I select. And then you can choose from one of these templates. So let's say for example, I really like this one. I will select that template and I will select this aspect ratio and then click on continue. And now this will generate a YouTube short for me, which of course you can customize if you don't like some scenes because it's not gonna be perfect when AI completely does it for you. But it's gonna have some captions and you can add the voiceover. So just upload a voiceover from your computer. So just like this, it's gonna sync the audio throughout the entire video. So as you can see, auto syncing voiceover through my YouTube short, which should hopefully be less than 60 seconds long. Here are five ways to make money with AI. Develop and sell AI powered software. You can develop and sell AI powered software such as chatbots, image recognition software, recommendation engines, and, predict and as you can see, the estimated length of my YouTube short is gonna be 20 seconds, which is really cool. I can also add background music, I can change text, I can play around with different designs, I can change colors, I can add different stock footage and stuff like that. And then I can also generate my entire video right over here once I'm satisfied with everything. It's gonna generate a scene and it's gonna generate a full YouTube short for me. And if you wanna create a little bit of higher quality YouTube shorts, then you can do it yourself from scratch. And that is to just go over to Pexels.com, which is a platform where you can find a lot of stock footage for completely free, you can essentially just go to the videos section. You can search for whatever you might need for your video. So let's say, for example, I need AI. I can find all of these clips and I can use them in my videos. So I can download this with one click of a button and use it. So they give me the license to use this without getting any copyright issues or whatsoever. And I can use this clip as well. Whenever you see something that you like, you just press on the download button and it's immediately onto your computer. And then you can edit that with a platform like CapCut. You can go to CapCut, which is a free video editing software. You can select like the TikTok ad example or the template and you can start editing from scratch you can upload that media just upload those clips and upload that audio file the voiceover that was generated by an ai and when you go to the text section you can also add auto captions as well so you can just add your script right over here to make sure that they are actually accurate or you can just let them recognize the voice you can just click on create and they will create the captions for you throughout the entire video and then if you don't like how the text looks you can of course make it bigger smaller you can change the font you can change literally everything on the right side so you can select the text section and then you can maybe even change the color you can change the font as I said I don't personally like that one so I can go with something else for example I can go with this font over here make it a little bit bigger and then we can also start adding the media we can start adding the, that stock footage that we found in Pexels and it's gonna start being it's gonna start making more sense and it's honestly gonna look a little bit better than what Pictory AI can generate so far but that's how you can create those faceless YouTube shorts and you can publish them to your channel and simply 
simply just leave a link to the course in the description box and also in the pinned comment as well. And once your channel starts growing and you start attracting targeted people, you can leverage the community tab and you can start sharing posts on a community tab to get those people to see your call to action and go through your landing page so they can become qualified leads from your YouTube short channel where, as you can see, you don't necessarily have to show your face to produce quality videos and actually get results. And even though it's a lot easier to get a lot of views with YouTube shorts and it's easier to go viral with YouTube shorts, long form content is way better when it comes to getting targeted traffic and actually converting that traffic into customers. Because honestly, viewers that are the short form content viewers are not as high quality as the long form content viewers. And on top of all of that, you will make a lot more money from ad revenue if you're posting long form content. So that's why I also wanted to make a video showing you how to create a long form content without showing your face and by utilizing AI. So first things first, you can of course do the research with vidIQ and this is where vidIQ actually makes a lot of sense rather than with YouTube Shorts because when it comes to long form content, you can also produce videos that can be in the search so they can show up in the search results, videos that people can search for and you can actually get a lot of traffic from that and third that traffic into passive income because videos that end up ranking in the search have a longevity to make you a lot of money and get you a lot of views over a long period of time. So you can go to vidIQ and you can start researching different keywords or you can even ask vidIQ itself to give you some recommendations for your videos. But I don't really trust their AI tool so far. It's not as good yet. So what I would do is I would do manual research myself. So I can search for different keywords. If I wanted to make a video about, for example, how to get six pack apps, it's gonna show me whether that is a good video to make. As you can see, the overall score is low because the search volume is medium. Not many people are searching for that so far and the competition is very, very high. So if I were in that niche, this wouldn't be a good video topic, but it does give me some recommendations and maybe have a better score. And then maybe I can try that or I can create modifications of that title and then try out with that. If I wanted to make a video about, for example, ways to make money with AI, then it's gonna show me that the competition is slow, the search volume is medium, so I can perhaps make something like that. It's also gonna give me related keywords that are pretty similar. So for example, make money online, overall score is pretty good. How to make money online, make money with chat GPT is the co competition is low and the overall score is 71, which is really, really high. So I could make a video about how to make money with chat GPT or how to make money with AI overall. So let's say for example, I wanted to make a video about five ways to make money with AI. So I'm gonna ask him to write a script. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do that for me. So write a script for a YouTube video about five ways to make money online with ChatGPT and AI. And let's see if he's actually going to write a script about how to make money with him or with this AI tool. So it's going to start the introduction. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So it starts with an introduction. I personally don't like those types of intros. I'm not going to get into too many details on what actually makes the YouTube videos go viral because that's something that we talk about in the automation systems. But basically you don't want to start your YouTube video with something that people are most likely going to skip. No one really wants, no one is really interested in like who you are or what your channel is all about or whatever. They came there because they they saw the title and they saw the thumbnail, which was, for example, making money with ChatGPT, and that's what they're interested in. And if they click and you start a video with like 30 seconds of you introducing yourself and telling about your path and telling about your childhood and all that, like no one really cares. They don't even know you. They just clicked to learn about how to make money with ChatGPT. They really, they don't really care about like, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is this and that. And on this channel, I do this and that. And in the past, I did this and that. No one really cares about that. So you should skip that part and just get Get straight to the point or just put something that's actually gonna make them intrigued and stay until the end of the video and the best thing about how to videos like tutorials is to show the results in the beginning so they know what they're they can expect if they watch the video throughout the entirety and they watch the video until the end so here we have a full script that now I can use as I said I'm just gonna remove this part I'm not gonna use the intro but I will use this over here so I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna paste it into 11 labs and I'm honestly not gonna let my AI bot read the brackets so I'm just gonna remove those we don't necessarily need them to read like the method number four and stuff like that so I'm just gonna remove that 
and then I'm gonna click on generate and remember you can also add a call to action and you can create a compelling call to action explaining to people that they can get a free YouTube automation course that's gonna show them how to make money so you can definitely make some adjustments and, and, and create a call to action and then definitely add some changes to the script and then you can generate it with one click of a button and once the script has been generated you will be able to download the audio file to your computer and then use that for your YouTube videos so it's gonna take him a while to edit this because it has like two thousand words, almost two thousand words or so. So it's definitely the gonna be a long script. Online, it should be a couple of minutes long. It should be about eight minutes or seven minutes. And the thing with YouTube and if you're approved in the partner program is if your videos are over eight minutes long, which is something that I highly recommend both for watch time and, and, and views. But once your videos are over eight minutes long, you can actually put mid-roll ads. That means that you can add more ads in your YouTube videos and that way earn more money. So if your video is less than eight minutes long, then you can have only one ad rolling on those videos when someone opens them up and watches them. But if your videos are over eight minutes long, you can essentially add like five different ads and that way five acts your results. So always aim for videos that are over eight minutes long if you're creating long form content. Now, once my audio file, once my audio has been generated, I will download that with one click of a button right over here and I will have the voiceover onto my computer. Now the next thing that we gotta do is we obviously wanna edit the video. There are obviously two ways to edit these videos. One is to just use the Pictory AI or a similar tool like this one where you can just paste your script into the box and get a full video written for you, get a full video edited for you or you can of course edit it manually and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. But if you wanna enter the video name here, you're gonna come up with something. For example, I'm gonna say five ways to make money online with ChatGPT and AI and I will proceed. I will choose from one of these templates, select this aspect ratio and click on continue and the full video will be generated for me after a couple of seconds. So that's the first way to do it and then of course you can edit it as we previously talked about. The second way is to obviously edit a video yourself which once again I highly recommend but bear in mind that when it comes to long form content if you're purely relying on stock footage especially free stock footage from pack sales people are just not gonna watch your videos that much and you also risk to potentially even get demonetized. So be very careful with that when you're doing it with long form content. So make sure that your videos, video edits are high quality, either edit those videos yourself or even just invest in a video editor. You can hire someone for really cheap on different freelancing platforms. There's just a lot of video editors popping up from everywhere so they are competing and they will provide high quality services for fairly affordable prices and when your video editing is on point and when your video editing is actually super, super high quality, it, it proved it times and times again that you will get better results, you will get more views and the investment will eventually pay off. If you're trying to do it all for free and you can definitely start for free, but you're not gonna get results as fast and as good as if you had some high quality video editing, whether that was you spending hours and hours editing those videos or whether you just paid someone to edit the videos for you, someone who is already a professional video editor, it doesn't matter if your video editing is on point and you're not just relying on stock footage and everyone can see that like it's poorly created, like the quality of the videos is extremely poor, you're not gonna get that many results, but if you are, if you do actually invest a little bit in the quality of those videos, I, I can I can almost guarantee it will eventually pay off. So you can definitely use one of these tools like CapCut to edit those videos yourself. You can definitely create some high quality edits with a tool like this one. But remember that if you don't wanna spend hours and hours learning to video edit and, and then video editing yourself, you can just pay someone 20 bucks to do it for you and they can definitely, in most of the cases, do even better job and, and produce you way better results. And also keep in mind that those videos that you publish on YouTube will stay there forever. So even if 20 bucks or 30 bucks for a five minutes long video may sound like a lot, you gotta think about the fact that that video might be getting you results for the next couple of months or even years. And especially if it starts ranking extremely high, I do have videos where I invested 60, $70 to create that video, but now they're basically making thousands of dollars a month because they are ranking in the search and they're producing a lot of results both from ad revenue and the offers that I'm promoting in those videos. So eventually it can definitely pay off if you look at a long picture and you look at those videos as something that's gonna stay there and potentially even produce passive income. Another great free traffic source is going to be TikTok, especially with their new creativity program beta, which now pays you over a dollar per 1000 views. So you can post faceless videos on TikTok. Like for example, this is in the facts niche. This person has never really shown their face and they're just posting these simple facts 
and they're not recording anything with a camera. And as you can see, they're getting hundreds of thousands of views per video. So they might be making hundreds of dollars per video that they upload just from the creativity program but then also they're promoting something in their bio and for you that can be an affiliate link. And you can do this in any niche. This one is in the zodiac sign niche. This one is like healthy recipes. You can focus on the cooking niche. You can go with the fitness niche. You can go with the business, crypto, finance, investing niche. Any niche you can think of, you can just create faceless content and share it on the TikTok platform. And if you meet these requirements, which are to have a US-based account, be 18 years old, have at least 10,000 followers and have at least 100,000 video views in the last 30 days, then you can get approved for the creativity program beta. And on top of the affiliate commissions that you're making, you can also make money from the TikTok creativity program as well. Now, later in this video, I will show you how to get instantly monetized even if you're outside of the US. And even if you're in the US, you don't have to wait to get 10,000 followers. I'm gonna show you how to get monetized and accepted into the creativity program today. But first, let me show you one of the ways to create these faceless TikToks pretty easily. Now, there's many different ways that you can create these faceless TikToks. TikToks, but I'm going to show you one very lazy way to generate as many TikToks and reels as you want. Just use this prompt. You can say create a list of, then it can be like 30 facts about literally anything. The world, the evolution, cats, dogs, whatever it is. I'm going to use dog, cats as an example now. Then you just want to copy this entire table of content that was given to you by ChatGPT. And then you want to open up Google Sheets. You want to just paste that over here. And then you will just highlight this part to just, you know, change the colors and stuff. So I'm going to change this to black and I'm gonna remove the background colors as well because I don't necessarily uh, need that so I'm just gonna reset it and we're done now I'm just gonna say uh, cats facts and now you want to download this so you want to download this as a CSV file so you just want to click on download as a CSV file and then you want to go over to canva.com and this is a free graphic design tool and you can either search for YouTube shorts templates or TikTok templates and then it's gonna show you like YouTube short video templates and then you can just select which one you like let's say for example I'm gonna go with this one over here customize this template you can of course use any other template which you want I'm just gonna go with this one as an example then we can of course customize all of these colors and we can customize all of these different elements so I'm gonna remove this person and I'm gonna search for cats elements and I'm just gonna upload some upload some of these cats so for example I'm gonna use this one and then I'm just gonna put it right over here and we can easily customize all of the text once again so what you will need to do is you will just need to make two text boxes this is gonna be the first one so I'm just going to uh, duplicate it and uh, this one is just gonna go as the number uh, what what number this fact is gonna be and this is where the actual fact is gonna go I'm gonna make it slightly smaller because some of these are really long so there should be more space for it here all right this is gonna be the text now on the left hand side you just want to go and select bulk create and you want to click on upload ccv file then just upload the one which you downloaded and as you can see it has detected that we have a fact and we have the description which is this is the fact number and this is the actual description so what you got to do is you just got to select the text and then you're just going to right click on this and then click on connect data and then this is going to be the actual description or the actual fact and this is going to be the number so i'm going to right click on it and then i'm just going to click on connect data and this is going to be the fact number and then click continue and as you can see it's going to load all of them and if you don't want something to go in you can just unselect it with one press of a button so it's not going to go all of these let's say i want to select all 30 so i want to go with 30 different facts uh, this is three and a half seconds long i'm going to click on generate 30 pages it's going to load in literally a second and we have fact number one and then we have fact number two three four five six seven and so on and so forth so it's going to load this entire video remember that your tiktoks should be anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds long but it can go even longer than that now so as you can see this one in particular is one minute 45 seconds long uh, TikTok some of these don't fit properly so you would have to customize some of them and it's pretty easy you just make it smaller and then you can also change the slides as well like if you want to change elements to make it even more engaging you can easily do that but it's literally one of the easiest ways to generate long-form quality TikToks 
that are unique as well. Then just click share and then you can download this as an MP4 video with all of these pages. You just press on the download button and you have this entire video ready to be uploaded to TikTok or any other short form platform. And remember, this is how some of these TikTok accounts that are making tens of thousands of dollars. So it's not that different. Now, I personally like to maximize my earnings with whatever platform I'm using to get free traffic to my affiliate links, whether that's YouTube or TikTok. And on YouTube, you have the YouTube Partner Program, which pays pretty decent in the finance niche. But also now we have the TikTok Creativity Program, which is also paying very, very well right now. The RPM is very well, but you need to meet the monetization requirements. Now, there will be three different ways to get approved for TikTok monetization fast. The first option is to get an instantly monetized TikTok account from my agency linked in the description below. That way you can skip all of this BS and start earning right away because otherwise you would have to post content for weeks or even months without earning a penny and some accounts may never even get accepted. So it's a lot cheaper to just get an instantly monetized TikTok account linked in the description box down below and just start earning from day one. And it's also worldwide available. So even if TikTok creativity program is not available in your country, if you get an instantly monetized account, you're basically right away approved. Unfortunately, this is a very, very limited service. And even though I would love to help everyone and give away as many of these TikTok accounts, we can't fulfill that many orders. So if that's not available anymore, here's some alternative options for you to go with. For the second option, you would need to have 10,000 followers and 100,000 views. And honestly, this is fairly easy on TikTok. So step number one is to choose a mass appeal niche. You don't want to go with something that's too niche down because that way it will take much, much longer to get monetized. For example, if you make copywriting tutorials, there's probably not going to be that many people who would be interested in that. On the flip side, if you make an account sharing fun facts or anything related to general entertainment, then you have much higher chances of going viral. After all, people go to TikTok to watch funny videos, memes, hot girls, and whatnot. They don't go there to watch quantum physics. Step two is to create videos above 60 seconds. You can go to YouTube and see what performed well in that niche here. Just search for your keyword on YouTube and filter by view count. That's gonna show you the most popular videos in that category, and you can just recreate it for TikTok. You can also surf trend. You can find trends by going over to TikTok trends or Google trends and make videos about whatever is trending right now. And if you start posting three to five TikToks, very high quality ones every single day, I guarantee at least one of them will go viral and get a lot of views. And by the way, I've also seen some people use SMM panels to get those 100,000 views and 10,000 followers. And SMM panels are basically social media marketing panels where people buy those followers and views. But I haven't tested this myself and I believe it's very risky. I believe TikTok is going to notice that you are doing that and you will probably get rejected. Now, the second option is for those that are outside of the US. Here's how you can bypass the system and get approved for this program from literally anywhere in the world. Step number one. First things first, you will need to change your phone location. If you're using an iPhone, open the settings app, click on your name, search for the location or region and change the country. If that's not available on your device, you will just have to use some service like ULT phone to change your location or just search for phone location changing services on Google and just try to find one that is free or at least cheap. If you're using an Android, this might be a little bit easier. Just go to your settings app, search for your country and region, and you can easily change it and select the United States. I also recommend changing the language to English US just to be sure. Step number two is to then install some VPN. And VPN is a virtual private network, basically a software that allows you to hide your actual location and IP address and change it to another country like the US. Just go to your app store or play store, search for free VPNs and download some. You can even go with paid VPNs if they have a free trial because you only need it for a few days and then you can just turn it off and cancel your subscription. Step number three, now you actually need a US SIM card. You can either order a physical one from eBay or get an eSIM card from a website like this or any other that you find on Google. If you decide to use this one, just enter code DAVE5469 and you will get $3 off your purchase. So you basically get a SIM card for like less than two bucks. You could just gotta get the cheapest one with this code. It should be about a dollar and a half. And once you buy it, here's how to actually activate it. So just connect to your Wi-Fi, go to my eSIMs tab on your Irelo app and tap details, select install eSIM or access data, tap on install eSIM at the bottom of your screen to initiate the installation. And just keep in mind that you can't interrupt the installation process once it has started. If you try to go back and do the previous step or close the app, you won't be able to install the eSIM card. Then just add cellular plan, label the eSIM with whatever name you want, choose the preferred default line to call or send messages, choose the preferred line for iMessage or FaceTime, also usually just your home plan, and choose Irelo eSIM 
plan as your default line for cellular data. Do not turn on allow cellular data switching to prevent charges on the other line on the actual default, default one. Just select your Irelo eSIM under cellular plans and ensure it is actually turned on and then just go to network selection and select the supported network that shows up, which is usually T-Mobile or Verizon. Then step number four is to actually now install TikTok using the eSIM card from the US. And once you start scrolling, you should be able to see that your For You page is now all in English. And step number five, now you can just go up there and start posting content to meet those monetization requirements because now you're essentially in the US and you can apply for the creativity program. Now, if you want to skip all of that BS, again, you can get an instantly monetized TikTok account if that service is still available. We try to restock them every single month. So you can try and grab one of those linked in the description box down below. If it's not available, you can come back next month to see if we restocked and if there is more available. But again, we are working hard to get as many of them as possible because the demand is extremely high right now. And we just can't supply that many.